like you said, in the middle, like near the capital. That's not even, bro. Like I tell you, we go to damn London, we walk in the wrong area, we could die. You could get damn raped. Like, you white girl too? And American, they gonna have a field day with your life. Yeah, they, they don't know you like I know you. They never get to hold you. Girl, they just know to hold you. Your head try to control you. I try to tell them you an angel. So special, girl, you made me grateful. They don't know you like What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Tyrese. I'm girl indeed. And we are the Larkin family. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do what you see in the bottom of your screen. Make sure you subscribe and click that post notification. Okay, make sure <laughs> make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell if you're new to the channel right now because we're on the road to 25k and once we get to 25k, we will be doing a giveaway. giveaway. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me. You feel me. If, you, if you're new to the channel, go look at some merch. Go cop some merch. You feel me? And it has stuff on the back. Go cop some merch. Um, if you're not a member and you've been subscribed for a while, I know a lot of you have been subscribed with us for a while, y'all need to become a member. Because y'all missing out on stuff, and we want to do more stuff for people who, you know, are actually, you know, fans of us. So if you can afford something, become a member. You might as well. But listen, this is a highly, highly, highly requested video. Like, all jokes aside, ever since the um the reaction to uh, the first active game reaction, people wanted this video. So we are going to react to the Deadly War in Camden. It's a must. It's a must. You guys said it's going to tell us some more about active game. And that's what we need to know before we react to more music from them, correct? Yeah. So, the Deadly War in Camden, Active Gang versus 51st. We're about to go ahead and get into this video. It's a 10 minute video. So, uh, hopefully, you know, I see some breaking news. So, hopefully, it tells us everything we need to know about them. So, shout out to y'all for recommending it in the comments. 10 section. minutes. Can I just say that? Where's she been at? It's a long video. Two men have been stabbed to death in two separate attacks in Kentish Town in North London last night. The body Damn. of the first victim, believed to be in his late teens, was found a couple of hours before police discovered the second victim, who's thought to be in his 20s. Camden, the heart of fashion and culture in London, with some of the most expensive house prices and biggest tourist attractions in England. And from the outside in, it looks like the perfect place to live. But that's what the government wants to show you. Once we go deeper into the lower income estates of the borough, we start to see a different story. A story of the country's most the private estates in London being separated from roads of millionaires literally by one street and how these estates have created a deadly gang war which has taken over the borough in recent years but before I get into the video be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications let's get into the video let's get into the video kid nerd okay so Camden is a borough in northwest London and is very, very close to the centre of London. But despite the area being so close to the rich centre of the capital, in the last few years, the war in the area has been going brazy. So historically, unlike neighbouring areas like Islington and Bren, Camden's beef situation hasn't been as active as others. But this all changed around 2016, when a man from Camden called Merce had his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back and forth, which resulted in a big rivalry in the borough. Literally okay. First off, you see how little something, be a watch being stolen, yep. started literally a whole war. A whole, like, de That's like crazy. Uh, for people who are not born in like you know the hood, the ghetto, who weren't raised, not even born. I would just say like if you were never raised in that type of environment, of course you ain't never gonna know. I wouldn't say I was raised in no projects because I wasn't. But I wasn't in no suburbs, you feel me? Like, I lived in a duplex, but I wasn't in no suburbs, you feel me? Like, your neighborhood was just known for bad stuff. For bad stuff, exactly. So, I and mean, it, most of the people didn't even live there. No, that's not true. When I was growing up, there was I a mean, lot of bad someone people. there was lived there. Most of the time, they weren't involved in anything. Exactly, but like the whole like just something I don't I don't want to talk too much because it's a long video, but just just the smallest thing is somebody stealing your damn watch. World War Three, that's crazy, right? That's that's how life works. But let's get into the video, man. Let's let's see what's up. 
between groups of kids that grew up together. These One side young. being gangs built up from a few estates in Camden, which were the Peckwater Gang from the Peckwater Estate, the QC Gang, which Peck were from Water. a road in Camden called Queens Crescent, and Cumbo, which is a gang made up from an estate called Regions Park in Cumberland Market. They linked up together and called themselves 51st, due to their postcodes being in NW1 and NW5, which is where the 5 and the 1 come from. And from the other side of the feud, we have a gang called Active Gang, where some people may know from their songs, and they're from the Ager Grove Estate in Camden. An active gang are affiliated with another gang called CT1 and NRB, which they all linked up and called themselves 71st. And just like that, the war was now on between 51st and 71st wow. over this watch being stolen. So Camden is actually so home much. to a big Somalian community with a big portion of them residing in Ago Grove, which is the territory of the 71st gang. Such a big community that the majority of 71st members are actually Somalian. And if you watch one of my previous videos on Mali Strip, Somalian people are people you don't want to be messing with, which you will understand more in this video. And this beef was on goal from early. In 2017, two members of the AG gang, which represents 71st, executed a triple shooting on three 51st members. Damn. Two of the members ran to a nearby hospital, but while hospital staff was treating the two members, they also called police to the hospital to investigate the situation. Once the two realized the police was called, they didn't even care about their treatment anymore and attempted to run out of the hospital while still having bullet wounds lodged in them. But the police ended up detaining them and arresting them after a struggle between the both. The reason they wanted to run was because all three members were actually wanted for suspicion of grievous bodily harm, which all three were eventually arrested for. Now, of course, 51st weren't happy about this triple shooting and they were trying to get it back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ager Grove estate and shot a rival in the face with a shotgun. The rival actually managed Bruh, what? Did you hear what he just said? Shot bruh in the face with a shotgun. I don't know about y'all, but that we, blow his head off. Like, that's what I'm saying. We talking about donuts. <laughs> yeah. Like, bruh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shotguns ain't no joke. That ain't no joke, bruh. Like, I don't care what kind of shotgun. 12 gauge, 7, bruh, 10 gauge, bro. Regardless, that shit blowing your face off. Literally, bruh. Yeah. Time out. Okay. Dude said that they had bullet holes still lodged in them. Bullets still lodged in their body and the boy ran out the hospital. Damn, it really that bad, isn't it? It's crazy how like you and like so in America you hear all about Chicago and shit like that. I'ma be real. 71st were active gang and them boy, you know what they call each other. They look like old block from Chicago. That shit just gave me the vibe of it. Like they they mm -hmm. project area looks like that. But dude said a shotgun, Lindsay. Over a damn, bro! All this shit started over a watch. I mean, I might blame on somebody if they stole my Apple Watch too, though. But like, dog, like your Apple Watch, Apple, bro. Okay, that watch was probably way more than an Apple Watch. I mean, if they kill him, it must have been. Yeah. Like, nah, bro. That's, dude. That's ridiculous, bro. I don't, I don't care. I don't even care. Like, I was. I've seen people get shot out, stuff like that. But this is ridiculous, bro. Like, over. I'm sorry, bro. That must have been an AP. <laughs> Lil Uzi, new padding on my must have been something. I don't know, cause I don't make no sense, bro. That's damn. Vibe and make his own way back to hospital. But that this damn head kicked off in a situation that wasn't even linked to both of the gangs. So on February 2017, a 16-year-old girl had an Airbnb party in Kensington, West London. You know those type of parties where a girl invites seven different types of gangs and asks people to leave their beef at home? Yeah, one yeah. of those. So at this party, there were people from all over London, yeah, but a few <laughs> uninvited funny. guests tried to pull up to the party. One of these people being a boy from 51st called Dotty and his friend, who pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble. But the night turned left for Dotty and his friend and ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys. And when the boys caught up to him, they stabbed him 13 times altogether. Which actually resulted in Dotty dying, which four 16-year-old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted for. So 16? 50 were mad about this situation, obviously, that their member Dotty was just stabbed to death. So they were out trying to get revenge. So they went out for revenge in a stolen BMW and travelled all the way from Camden in North West London to Hackney in East London and then to Tottenham in North London because that's where the people who killed Dotty were from. But they ended up finding no from both areas, but they weren't trying to go home without spilling some blood first. <laughs> we so ain't done yet. Went all the way back to Camden <laughs> to look for 71st members and found an affiliate member of 71st called AK and killed him. But they weren't done there. They were riding for a whole another two hours looking for more 71st members and found a 71st member called Mitch's little brother. 
Mitch's little brother. <laughs> Mitch's little brother. Into a cab. <laughs> yeah. He's the driver to drive him to safety. But the driver refused to move, and he was dragged out of the cab and stabbed to death by 50 first members. All within two hours of their first murder they committed that night, and six members were sentenced to life for these murders. Then on September 4th, 2017, a member from 51st called Phillips, and the older brother of the second boy who died that night called Mitch, bumped into each other on Hampstead Road in Camden, and started getting into a little altercation, which ended with Phillips stabbing Mitch in his arm, neck and back, leaving the knife lodged into Mitch's bones and murdering him. An undercover policeman just happened to witness this whole situation, and ran down Phillips and arrested him, and now Phillips is serving 17 years to life for this murder. After okay, let me, bro, we did, there's a lot of information. 17 years to life. They didn't even say 25, 20 a year. They just gave him 17 and then to life. So, like, that's just life at that point, isn't it? No, that means that he could potentially, when he serves his 17 years, he could go up for parole. You know, damn. <laughs> they're not giving up. And that's what that means. But they're not, they not giving up. <laughs> I, that's my problem. They be, doing, they be doing that. You might as well just give him a fucking life. Like, you're not. No. But, bro. If he changes his ways, he could potentially get out. Yeah, I'm going to change his yeah, ways. Changes his way, yeah, changes his ways. In jail. Change, yeah. I mean, Everybody you know, changes no, no, no. They, got, they got they got Bible like school and shit like that in jail. I know, but I'm saying you can change your ways. And then as soon as you get back out, you straight to the <laughs> exactly. streets again. Exactly. You know how much that happens? Yeah, that shit. Every day. It shit don't mean nothing, bro. But okay, dude got chased by 20 people and got stabbed only 13 times. Why didn't y'all just beat him? In? First off, my other thing I was gonna say. How the fuck, like, I understand he does research or whatever, kid nerd. How the fuck he know all this information? <laughs> he must be inside the gang. <laughs> I got this damn point, like, he know all this damn information. And he probably just knows everybody and finds out. No, I, I really think he just did research, because most of the time yeah. when somebody does a crime like that, over years, like, yeah, it gets it put on out. the internet. Yeah, so I, but, I mean, he did a lot of research. We're only five minutes and seven seconds into the video, and dude already told us too much information. <laughs> like, if he was an informant, you would know. <laughs> Uh, then an undercover cop saw the whole thing and then why didn't you stop it undercover he gotta wait until a crime was committed that but that's my point right you a cop protecting i don't know i don't know that's just me but yeah that's that's ridiculous the beef in camden went on some serious investigation by police and members from all sides started to get taken down for conspiracies firearms and drug charges Damn. and the beef started to die down a bit but then 2019 here and quite a lot of the members that were locked up started to come out and taking in consideration that 51st members just before everyone started going to prison and killed three 71st members 71st members started coming out of prison on some demon time and were most definitely looking for revenge with no warnings mm -hmm. the first signs that 71st was really back was on a cold tuesday in february 1 a.m in the morning 51st member called G Squeeze was walking past the same squeeze in Camden when a 4x4 crashed into him and several 71st members jumped out on him like a pack of wolves, stabbing him repeatedly in his head and body, leaving him literally paralyzed and not being able to walk. But that wasn't enough for 71st members. They wanted someone dead for their friends. So on April 1st, 2019, a suspected member of 51st called C Miz and his cousin were walking down Grafton Road in Gospel Oak Camden when four 71st members jumped out a stolen black car and started chasing them. C Miz and his cousin and split up but unfortunately the men who jumped out of the car locked on to see miz and see miz ended up dropping to the ground when the 71st members started to stab him repeatedly with machetes and then run machetes from after this murder 71st members made a song called congo and the reason why they called it congo is because see miz was actually a refugee from congo after him and his family fled the war from over there and members repeatedly in their songs say that they get their weed from congo not cali pretty much just trying to say that they're smoking on see miz bro that's so disrespectful before, the majority of these 71st members are somalian so after all this, there was news going about in Camden that 51st members were out on the lurk and any Somalian they see they're killing. Heard some really strong intelligence that there is going to be revenge for Calvin's killing and his friends are, have literally said they are going to go out and kill any Somali in retaliation. Fuck? So I just want to make that really clear. This is from a young Somali woman in Camden who's 24 years old and basically they are basically we um, strongly suspect they're going to go out tonight and kill a Somali. Which is probably a bit of a stretch. But on the other hand, 71st members kept saying that they're warring with Jaliz, which is basically the Somalian word for West African people. Because you have to remember, despite Somalians being dark-skinned and African, a lot of Somalians don't really see themselves the same as other black people. 
So this was kind yeah. of turned into a race war between Somali and the black people in Camden. I was just just all wrong that. for so many reasons. But 71st weren't happy enough with the killing of C. Miz. They wanted to spill more blood. So August 12th, 2019, six members started circling the states of 51st members in a stolen Ford Fiesta and a stolen Sia. When they spotted 16 year old culprit and other members coming out of a restaurant around 10 30 pm, culprit and other members ran to a nearby set of blocks near Houston Road. But 71st members found them later on that night and three members jumped out and chased them down, catching up to the 16 year old 51st member called Culprit. Culprit was running for his life and literally screaming for help, banging on neighbors' doors to let him in so he could escape his attackers. But when the 71st members caught up to him, two 71st members held him while a third member repeatedly pushed a one foot long zombie killer knife through his chest while it was coming out of his back. And when the seven bruh, one of my homeboys has uh, a knife like that, literally has a knife like that, the exact same that one. That should be illegal, bruh. That should be illegal. A blade over six inches in America is illegal, right? You can't have a knife longer yeah. than six inches. Bro, first off, some, okay. You pull that thing out, they dead. No, literally, like, <laughs> like, like even if you found them alive, they're, they're dead. dead. Yeah, they're dead, bro. Like, that, that's impelling. Because, because it, 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 like, curves. It has ridges. So, like, when ridges this part, yeah. when you get to this part trying to pull it out. You're doing more damage yeah. than it already, already did going yeah. in. That's why they say you're not supposed to pull the shit out. You gotta let the hospital do that shit. Yeah, you know, and that most of the time, surgery. Yeah, that's, I'm talking Most hours. of the time, they probably hit a lung or something. Bro, like, so people don't understand, like, Somalian people, like, all jokes aside, Somalian people are crazy. Like, um, remember Black Hawk Down, the movie, when they went over, I, it was a true story, but Black Hawk Down, when them boy went to uh, Africa, they went to Somalia, and they was fucking with the real black people. That's literally, but, bro, to, the biggest thing for me is, I'm glad y'all told us to react to this, but the biggest thing for me is how young these kids are. Yeah, 16. Like, not even 15, or like 15, 16, 17, probably some damn 14-year-olds, but like... Probably, because they're born into it. Did you hear what he said? He said a 16-year-old was running for his life, knocking on people's doors, screaming, help. Like I say, this is what I always say to you, this is what I say to everybody. You play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. You yeah. get stupid rewards. If you not, if you do not want to die, do not live that life. It's just that. Sometimes simple. they don't have a choice, though. That's, just that's like what I'm saying. That's here. what I'm saying. That's true. That's very true. But I'm saying, bro, I could have lived that life. I really, bro. I, my mama kept me out that shit, bro. You feel me? Like I, I like I just I stayed away from shit like that. But these these kids too young, bro. Like that could be that could be your brother. Yeah. Your cousin. It like is somebody's brother. That's what I'm saying, bro. Somebody's some son and like, bro. That shit, like. I ain't picking sides. I just like music. I'm just putting that out there because I'm not trying to go to UK and then niggas try to run up on me because I'm black. Nope. I <laughs> nope. You the wrong type of black today? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, I ain't trying to. Nah, I I ain't picking sides. No 71st, 51st. I'm not no King Von, 63rd. None of that shit. Nope. I'm a reactor and I'm a rapper off this shit. But even rap, you don't have to be in a gang to be a rapper. First off, yeah. put that out there. But let's finish this, man. Let's finish this shit. Crazy, bro. Shit really crazy though, for real. Shit gonna be thinking. Okay. Get it. <laughs> Let's go. First members were done. The killers were said to be running away after laughing hysterically, which is what bystanders said. And Cobra, he was just any normal kid from London. He was talented at football and even had trials for Southampton Football Club. But started so getting involved in the local gang and brushed aside his football and unfortunately became a victim of the streets. Now, as these back and forth normally go, 51st were now looking for revenge on their recent elders. And there were many stabbings across the month. And early on in September, there was a case of three killings in five days in Camden. One of these being a man from a completely different area all the way in East London. But unfortunately, he was walking at the wrong place at the wrong time. So he was actually walking on Queen's Crescent Estate, which is a hot spot for 51st members. Fuck no. And was shot and killed in a drive-by. Damn! A 51st member. Just an hour before, another woman was stabbed to death just a few hundred yards from the situation. And four days later, a 71st member called Nuts was stabbed to death by a gang of 51st members with machetes. Outside one of the busiest areas in London, Camden Tube Station. And for the longest, a lot of people didn't even know what this stuff was going on. Until a 71st member called Suspect started jumping on the drill scene, calling himself the Camden Grim Reaper, and releasing some of the most disrespectful tunes towards his arms. So much that police take down pretty much any song that the gang uploads, which really started to bring some attention to what's happening down there, and definitely got the attention of me. Especially a song from Suspect called Dugout, which is probably one of the most disrespectful songs I've ever heard, and really makes you deep how tapped this whole beef is. In one of his lines, he says, 
We used to play run outs, it's the same place, it's chess got dug out. Same place, I was telling you, play out, it's the same place, I'm telling you, come out. Which really makes Damn. me feel like these guys were close friends at one time, and now they're trying to kill each other. All stemming from a little small altercation that happened a couple years back. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video, and peace out. Bro, hold on, hold on. Did you hear what he said? That's crazy. He said, same place we used to play run outs, same place he got dug out. Lindsay. Dude literally li dude literally said the same place they used to play run out. So you know I'm guessing that's a game, like kinda like something like yeah. tag or like um hide and go seek or yeah. some shit like that. So y'all like you said, they used to be friends, they used to play together. Now they're killing each other. Dude got dug out. First off, what's up with all the knife work though? Like I know Somalians and like you know, they like knives and shit like that, but what's up like the UK That's what they got. But, I, but he said a drop by them boy ain't got no. I mean, you is right though, because in prison, motherfuckers just be stabbing people because I said they can yeah. just make a shiv. But they've been making them out of plastic forks. Bro, you can make a shiv. Bro, I could take a piece of this laptop. I could take a piece of my MacBook. Okay, well, of course, and, that's metal. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's how people in prison make shivs. You get a piece of the toilet and you grind it against the wall yeah. until it's pointy on both sides. Yes, bro, I know how to make a shiv. You wrap a piece of cloth at the bottom. Yeah, I, know I know how to make a shiv. Yeah, bro. I've seen it on my on criminal mind. Oh, yes, i seen it on a TikTok. To me. No, there was a dude who was in prison on now TikTok. Now one of the FBI agents on criminal mind got locked up, so he made one. You so that he could get himself in the... Um, he protect the... Not protect the... Um, the shit they put the people in. Yeah, when yeah. they get hurt. So he yeah. he made it look like one of the other inmates stabbed him. Yeah, he fucking tweaking. But, um, no. He had to do what he had to do. <laughs> anyway, this shit, bro... Like, I'm glad, I'm highly, highly glad this video, like, was requested because it opened my eyes. I didn't know shit was like that in the UK, <laughs> yeah, bro. No. Like, I didn't know right shit. Right in the middle of it, too. That's what I'm, like, like he said, in the middle, like, near the capital. That's not even, bro. Like, I tell you, we go to damn London, we walk in the wrong area, we could die. You could get damn raped. Like, you white girl, too, and American, they gonna have a field day with your ass. Yeah, eyes. they would. Like... We're not going there. <laughs> we ain't going there. Fuck no. Like, bro. No, bro. Like, not today. I can't. You can't carry a gun on a plane and go to another country. You can't do that. I can't protect her like that. You can you, check it. Yeah, but. You know, uh, not necessarily. That you got to pay money. You got to pay money to get guns across like that. And you don't have a concealed carry. Exactly. There, so. so, bro, no. You, bro, if I shoot somebody overseas, they're going to drag my ass to the cell, bro. Then I'm going to get involved with the gangs. Hell no. I ain't going out like ASAP Rocky, boy. Hell no. <laughs> but. Nah, that, what you think about it? I've been talking a lot. What you I think? I don't know. It opened my eyes. I mean, it, it was informational. It, I felt like we was in school. <laughs> like, see. No, for real. If they taught like this in school and really just broke shit down, kids would not be failing. No, they would have be ace in class. Like, this is shit we want to learn about. I mean, not really. I'm talking about like history wise. Like, if we learn shit in America like this. But you know what I'm saying? Like. Ooh, come. Y'all got a comment something, bro. We got to have a conversation about this, bro. This shit really opened my eyes. Um. I ain't gonna drag it out though. This that's the video, man. That shit got me about to cry. Man. Yeah, okay. Let me tell you. But no, nah, that is like, like I said, I'm not picking it's sides, sad. but it, it's sad, bro. Like, dude was 16, play football and shit, like all over somebody watch getting stolen. That's what I'm saying. One little, like, uh, I don't want to say it's little. His mama probably gave him that watch or some shit. Like, you never, you never know the like the yeah. backstory on the shit, but like. Working four jobs. You could just literally. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, you never know, but like, bro, you if you. You could have just buy a new one, bro. Or I mean, y'all could have just handled. It. But like they say, you kill one person, then you you bring in a whole nother group of people the after you. Streets need a body. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't watch Power, um, book what is it? Book three, Canaan. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't watch that, bro, that's what we got that from. The streets need a body. Streets need a body. But no, man. Um, no, nah, this shit really ain't funny though. Like all all jokes, like yeah, all jokes not. aside, it's not funny. Um, I done seen people get killed. I done lost people to shit like this. It's not funny. But um, yeah, man, that's the video, man. If y'all enjoyed the if y'all enjoyed the video, our reactions, make sure you leave a like, man. Make sure you share it. But also make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell. Cause we are on the road to 25k. Once you get to 25k, we are doing a giveaway. giveaway. You feel me? You feel me? You feel us? You feel us? Go get some merch, man, and become a member. We are gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace. It's a team, so we gon' unite They ain't seen your smile shining like the moonlight Promise that I got you, I will never switch sides I won't break your heart, so promise you won't